okay. You bad. You bold. You rebellious. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You can't be stopped. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Youngster, I get it. But the only thing about that, you don't either end up dead or in jail. So, is it that bad to where you want to end up dead? Is it that serious where you got to end up in jail? Well, since you think that jail is cream and you can handle jail and you think it's all about muscle and fighting and gang gang, I'm going to tell you 13 things about jail that you might not know that's going to make it real, real uncomfortable. One, book it. When they book you in jail, it's going to take two or three days. You ain't going to get no mattress. You're going to barely get to eat. And if you sleep, you won't eat. But it's going to take a two or three day process just to process you in jail. After you leave the precinct, wherever you get to the parish, it's going to take two or three days just to get processed. And you better not fall in there on the weekend. I'm going to bring the weekend back up. But don't fall in on the weekend. Two. Medical process. Now you gotta go through a medical process. So I hope everything check out, but you're gonna go through that medical process with other inmates. And you know the outcome is the outcome. So you have to be careful because if you go to jail, all your privacy and all that is gone, man. You're gonna have to go through that medical process. Three, you gotta move when they say move. Bad enough, you don't like moving when your mama say move, your daddy say move, your girl say move, your children say move, man. You're gonna have to move when authorities say move. People you don't even know. You're gonna have to move when they say move, bro. Like that's you gonna have to literally move when they say move. Yeah. Right. Four. You eat when they say eat. And guess what? You got like 15 minutes to eat. That's in and out. That's coming in. Getting your food, sitting down, eating it, getting up, and leaving. You got 15 minutes. You heard me? You got to eat when they say eat. You heard me? And, and if you don't eat, they still make you go to the kitchen to sit in there. If you eat, eat, you don't, you don't. You ain't standing in the cell. So, you know, like I said, you got to move when they say eat. But, five. Them people can cut all contact if they want. They can just cut off your contact from the free world completely. You know, if, if, if they want to cut the phones off, they just cut them off. You can't call nobody. They want to stop mail, they just stop mail. No mail come in, no mail come out. That's their privilege. They can cut off you completely from the outside world completely at any time they feel like it. So remember that when you think you need to reach out, you got connections, you got this to handle, and you got to talk to this person and talk to that person. No, you don't. They cut all that off. They cut off all the content. Number six. Count time. Count time is something they say is for to make sure everybody's counting for. But I think it's something that happens twice a day to interrupt whatever you do. And one time, count time is five in the morning. So just think what you're doing at five in the morning. Sleep. They wake you up out your sleep just to count you and you say your name. Every morning, count time. Every afternoon, count time. Just when you feel like the day almost manageable, count time. You ain't ready for that, man. Seven, inspection. Now, after count time at five, you just get up, lay back down, might go to breakfast, lay back down, and then... You think you're finna get some rest? Inspection! You gotta make the bed up. You gotta have it clean around the bed. You can't have it made a certain way. You can't have nothing hanging off or none of that, man. I'm talking about like in the whole dome inspection gotta be straight before you even lay back down. So that's an hour and or something just from inspection. You gotta be up. So just think like inspection got you up. You heard me? So. You ain't ready for that, man. But look, check this out. Eight. Shake down. Look. Whenever you feel like you're trying to trying to settle and the 
accumulate a few little items and put things in order. Shakedown coming, tear all that up, throw everything everywhere, step on it, walk on it, tear your pictures up, lose your pictures, stuff go over here, your mail over there, whatever else you think you got, you had in your possession. Shakedown, they come and ramble through it, tear it up, throw it on the floor, disrespect you as a man, they don't care. Shakedown, you ain't ready for that, man. But look, check this. I ain't gonna say what you ain't ready for. I'm just telling you. Nine. You ever heard of good suffer for the bad? But guess what? In jail, one inmate can do something foolish. Like, and just think, it could be 95 people, 30 people, 8 people, 12 people, 145, no, how many, no matter how many people to a cell. One inmate can do the wrong thing under the wrong authority. And the whole line got to suffer. The whole line. The whole line got to suffer. The one inmate, they'll make you stand up all night. Stand up in the day room all night. Just cause one dude stole a piece of chicken out the kitchen. Now the whole dome gotta stand up all night until the next shift at five o'clock in the morning, which is count time, and then breakfast, and then inspection again. You heard me? Like this can really happen. So you know, if you know, it's not jail's not all about fighting and tough, but it's mental too. You heard me? So now we're gonna get to number ten. So if your bunk under a light is on all night, and the noise, you can't control that. Even if the guards holler, be quiet, it's still gonna be noise. So it's like noisy all the time. Even when it's quiet, it's noisy. Quiet is noisy in jail. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Eleven. No control over the climate. Yeah. If it's hot. It's cold. If it's cold, it's hot. If it's high, hot, it's sticky. Whatever it is, like you could be in jail, you could be right there in the parish, and you won't even know if it's winter time or summertime, but they'll have it freezing cold in there, and it'll be hot as shit outside. They'll have it hot, hot in there, and it'll be freezing cold outside, and you'll just be living there where you won't even know. You'll lose track of the season. And that brings number 12. It's full of mold, dust, and rust. The vents full of dust. You heard me? The, the, the inside, the pipes and all that full of mold. And the outside full of rust. From where the water and the, and the steam and the moist is just over and over and over again. It just rust itself out. They come change it out. It rust itself out. They come change it out. It rust itself out again. Like, you know, the vents, they might clean them once a year or try to get the inmates to clean it. But you can just look up and see it's full of nothing but dust and clogged up filth and stuff like everything. And 13. Spider bites. You think you're a thug, right? And a little spider creep up on your little blanket. Cause you get a little blanket and a little mattress cover. Nothing special, nothing decent. This small flat mat hurts your back. You heard me? Feel like the flow. But anyway, a spider just creep up out that mat and bite you. And ask somebody about them past prison spider bites. Thank God I didn't get bit by a spider in that day. But ask anybody what them spiders do to you. They call them brown recluse, black recluse, whatever, whatever. Bro, I seen them send some dudes out on the stretcher. But spiders, spiders, not not thugs, not shanks, not ops, not gangs. Spiders bite you in your sleep. You're in. <laughs> You in the infirmary, from the infirmary to walking around looking stupid, half paralyzed. Somebody can mess over if you want all cause a spider, bro. Like, you don't, you, them, them 
things, all those things go on in every prison. All those things I just named, I'm pretty sure. Pretty much all the ones that I've been to. Some of them may seem clean, but that's just because people looking. But really and truly, they all is dumb, they all is hell. And you know, like, you don't get no respect, you don't get treated like an animal. You heard me? And hopefully, you know, you can still have a peace of mind because that's when you see people go from hanging you know, playing as children, young boys playing, running up and down in the neighborhood, and then they go to jail, and then they come out, and then they go to hanging on the block. I'm going to tell you why, because they just were sitting in jail doing nothing and being controlled and didn't even have their freedom. So once they get their freedom back, they just want to sit around and do nothing and enjoy. I got my freedom back, man. I'm just going to sit on the block for the rest of my life until you get in trouble again. But that's where all that comes from. You know, so like I say, bro, 13 reasons, you know, that you shouldn't want to be in jail. 13 reasons you should, you know, support and go download my new album, Struggle Baby, because, you know, I'm trying to keep the positivity going, but it's difficult, like I say, when you, you, you all you got. But anyway, like I say, bro, appreciate your freedom. And you know, like honor your parents, your family, you know, because don't just feel like you got to live like a scandalous or shysty or whatever. You don't got to live like that, man. If you ain't come like that, you don't have to live like that. You don't have to be in the game. You don't have to be in the streets. If that's not what your um, destination or that ain't where you come from, you don't have to curve to that because ain't nothing that way. You're going the wrong way. Go the other way, man. Yo, this your boy, Big Head the Dome Doctor. Struggle Baby available on all platforms. I want you to check it out. And like I say, bro, a weekend in jail is like a lifetime. While you out enjoying the weekend and the sun shining and all that, yeah, that's good. But they in jail, the weekend is long and boring and miserable. You know, no traffic, no action. It's just like the weekend turned into a month in jail. One weekend turned into a month. So appreciate your freedom, man. You heard me? Life is about credentials. I ain't got none. You heard me? Unfortunately. So, you know, rap is my best credential. So, I'm sticking to what I know. That's my credentials. But I don't have no other type of credentials. But life is about credentials. You get some credentials, then you can get somewhere. So, get them while you can. You heard me? Because, yeah, I got a GD credential in jail, but it's going to say I got it in jail. So, you know, it's still credentials, but it ain't nothing that's going to, you know, get me to a higher situation because guess what? Jail. But I got it, though. But guess what? Remember, bro, jail ain't all about just thinking you tough and you can handle it because you rebellious. Because once you get in there, it's a whole different world. Can't nobody help you. And it's a possibility you don't make it out. So, you know. Do the right thing, man. Keep your head up. This your boy, Big Head, the Dome, Dr. Struggle, baby. Available on all platforms. You already know what it look like. So make sure you go jam that thing. Sipping me some of that good tea. I promise you I'm gonna make it I remember